the ugliness of January 6th only matched by the brutality of the mob that turned on law enforcement, including DC police officer Mike Fanon. The savage attack on Officer Fanon can be seen on his body cam video, obtained through a source by WUSA 9. But from this dark moment, support from an unexpected place and person, the iconic singer, songwriter, artist, and tonight, Kennedy Center Honors recipient, Joan Baez, who spoke with me by phone. What would you hope people would take away from hearing and experiencing how you guys have crossed paths and forged a bond? I think they probably scratched their heads, and that's probably a good response. It all began with this painting, inspired by a viral photo of Officer Fanon defending the Capitol. That was painted by Joan Baez. Just a continuation of the complete shock of what had happened. Officer Fanon's family reached out to the art gallery to find out more about the piece. They were stunned when Joan Baez asked to speak with the Fanon family. And when she came to Washington for the taping of the Kennedy Center Honors, an activist known for outspoken stands made another when Baez made Officer Fanon her guest of honor. And that was very calculated. I, you know, I wanted him to be seen. You know, I, I wanted him to be partnered with a, <laughs> with a nonviolent activist. That was an incredibly humbling experience. My understanding from talking to her was, uh, you know, the fact that uh, despite being out in the crowd and kind of being, you know, having my life threatened, that I chose, like, not to use deadly force. You know, I think that resonated with her. Ironically, the two spent part of their evening at the Kennedy Center guessing who the surprise musical guest would be to perform for Baez at the ceremony. Fanon's jaw dropped when one of his favorite musicians, Sturgill Simpson, walked on stage. In fact, Fanon says it was Simpson's music that helped him get through some of his most difficult moments after January 6th. And to be able to like share that with Joan Baez, um, was, was pretty amazing experience. You know, I thought, what an interesting combination of a pacifist and a policeman and, you know, a country and western singer. Friendships rooted in the belief that compassion can overcome evil. Eric Flack, WUSA 9.